friends, my name is Austin Leibel. I work for Pragmatic Works. We do training around the Microsoft Power Platform as well as Microsoft uh, Cloud Analytics, Cloud Product Azure. So today we are going to be looking at one of the products inside of Azure, actually two of the products inside of Azure. We're going to be looking at Azure Data Factory as well as an Azure SQL database because this is our last video in our series revolving around data flows inside of Azure Data Factory. So today our goal is to take the data that we have been working with, to take the data we have been transforming inside of our low code graphical user interface, making it very easy for anyone to go through and make transformations with data, we're going to take that data set and we're going to sync it to an Azure SQL database. We uh, obtained that from a data lake. We had some raw data that we had inside of a data lake. We have gone through, we've made some transformations with that. Now it is time to load it into a database so I could have my uh, different users go through and make you know data analytics with that. Go through and actually bring that data in. Do some business intelligence with it, right? Whatever they want to do. Now we are working with movie data. I love movies. So we're going to be looking at our movie data. We have been making transformations to throughout this course. Uh, throughout these these video series, right? But uh, we're going to go through and we're going to check that out inside of Azure Data Factory to start with, where we are going to bring in a sync transformation or our sync for our data flows so we can decide where we want to send that data to. And then we are going to run that from a pipeline. So let's head over now to our Azure Data Factory and check that out. All right, so here we have our Azure Data Factory. I already have everything up and running. Remember, just a little recap of what we've gone through in these different videos here. We have gone through and we have brought our data in. We have obtained our data from a data lake. We have selected the columns that we wanted to remove. So we removed two columns. And then we went ahead and we changed our data type to allow us to do a filter and remove all of the different movies that didn't have at least a rating of four stars or more. That's what this greater or equals ratings uh, with the four there means. Finally, what we did is we sorted our data. I went ahead and loaded a preview of our data only available because I opened up a data flow debug session for myself. So I have my live look at my data transformations where I have all of my different ratings sorted by the highest rating five star first, followed by the four star ratings. Now, what we want to do is we want to sync our data to its final resting place. So I've gone through, I've made some changes to my data, I've got it ready for reporting purposes. Now I need to load that to where I can have different users interacting with that. So I'm going to come over here to the very end of my transformational logic here, and I'm going to hit that plus icon and go to the very bottom where I have my destination, and I'm going to select my sync. Now this is going to uh, be called load data to uh, we'll just call it Azure SQL database. Perfect. Now, I do not currently have a data set that is set up in my data factory to load this data to. So I'm going to go ahead and create one for myself now. I'm going to come down here and I can see my different data options I have. I do not currently have one that I need to work with. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to select this new option right next to the data set. And that's going to give me the opportunity to create that. So I'm going to come over here and search SQL, and that's going to give me my Azure SQL database connector here. I'm going to connect with that, uh, with a SQL database that I already have spun up inside of the Azure portal. And then once we go through and run this, we will go and check that out. So I'm going to click continue on that. I am going to give this a name. We'll call this Azure just to let people know that it's working inside of Azure. It is a SQL database. And then we'll go through and say this is our AdventureWorks database. I'm working with uh, just some sample data, but I can go and sync more data that I'm working with here inside of that AdventureWorks database inside of the Azure portal. 
Now I did go ahead and spin up a linked service to allow me to create and connect with that SQL database already. So now I can either select from the existing tables because I am already connected with that linked service. I can go through and see a list of all of my tables that already exist in that SQL database, but none of those are going to have the ones that I want to work with. So I need to go through and create a new table. And I'm just gonna give this a name of DBO, database owner, and I'm gonna call this my movie ratings table. So dbo.movie ratings is going to be what I want to sync this to. That's perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So we can see that I am syncing this to a data set and I've selected my data set here. I can go through and either you know, sync to an inline data set, cache. We have different options there available to us. Uh, we can go through and change some of the different settings as well. So ultimately, if we wanted to make updates or upserts inside of this table, inside of our Azure SQL database, we could potentially do that here. Now there's other options available to us. We can recreate the table, we can truncate the table. There are many, many options that we have for working inside of Data Factory and, and looking to where we can actually go through and sync our data. But I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is ready to go. I'm going to now go through and call upon this data flow inside of a pipeline. So what I need to do now, you see there is no option here to just go through and execute this data flow. I can't really say, hey, I want want to run this data flow from this screen right here. What I need to do is call upon this data flow inside of a pipeline. So I'm going to come over to my pipelines here. I'm going to click the ellipsis next to this and I'm going to select new pipeline. Now this pipeline, we'll just call this our movie ratings sync pipeline or something like that. Movie ratings sync. Perfect. I'm going to close the properties pane there. So inside of a pipeline, which you can go through and check out my coworker Mitchell Pearson's videos inside of Synapse Analytics on pipelines. He's doing a great series right now on all the different transformations there. What we are going to do is we're going to just come up to our activities and search for data flow. And there it is underneath the move and transform option. I'm going to pull this data flow into the pipeline canvas here. So I'm gonna pull this over here, dragging and dropping it inside of that canvas. And now I can go to and find that data flow that I've been working with through this in a video session, right? So I'm gonna select my settings here and I'm going to go find that data flow that I've been working on that's ready to load that data to the SQL database. I'm gonna find my movie ratings data flow, perfect. And now all I really need to do is hit my trigger on this. So potentially from here, I could schedule this. I can add a trigger to this where this runs at a certain time as more data comes in. It would load new data. We can set this up however we like. Uh, for today, all I'm going to select though is this debug option here. Debug is going to allow me to move this data, but it's gonna allow for the easiest way to move this data today and, and get the results very quickly for ourselves. So I'm gonna click the debug option here this is going to take that data flow debug session I am already using currently because I have that on and it's going to move this data from the data lake, take the data from the data lake, do some different transformations to this and then load it to my Azure SQL database. Now we can go through and see this has already succeeded. Opt awesome, that is great. We can look at the output here. We can see how much data we actually move. We can see all of our different transformations we've made. There's 529 rows written. Uh, there's some awesome monitoring capabilities inside of Data Factory as well. If you're interested in learning more about that, definitely check out our advanced Azure Data Factory course on our on-demand learning platform. But let's go check out our C SQL database now and look at our data, right? So I'm gonna come over to the Azure portal. I'm already connected to my Azure SQL database. And I'm gonna come over here and do a refresh. You can see this table does not currently exist in this environment. I'm gonna select refresh right here and then uh, open up my tables again. And there we have our movie ratings data. And I can go through, I can select the top 1000 rows with that. 
And there we have it. We have all these different data, all these different movies that we have inside of here. You can see again, it is just the uh, five star movies first because of those different transformations we've made. Uh, you can see there are no columns that we did not want to be in this data set. So we removed those columns. Uh, we did a filter. So we made some different transformations and we have sunk that data to an Azure SQL database so that we could potentially have different people go through and work with that data now if they needed to in their business environment. Well, this has been just a brief, brief introduction into the power, into the capabilities of data flows inside of Azure Data Factory. I hope you have enjoyed this series and uh, look forward to seeing what we have coming up next revolving around Data Factory or Synapse Analytics where these different technologies exist as well. If you are interested in learning any more about data flows or any of the capabilities of low code, no code transformations, inside of Data Factory, definitely come and check out one of our boot camps where we go through and do an in-depth study into pipelines, into data flows, into all the different features revolving around either Data Factory or Synapse Analytics. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. <music>